dark ends up but that's the view of my village as you can see those are the houses someone hey guys welcome back to our youtube subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell so that every time ting -ting you are to so that every time i post a video you're here but so guys we are moving around the village as you can see and we are looking for those such groups of kids that are playing soccer but they don't have um, football so those ones are already very young people as you can see they're already playing so i'm going to go and look for others and i give them these two and then another day also i don't think i can move every day but i'll do them in bits so let's go the moving is approaching seven but the kids always play football at like in the evening hours and more especially today is a sunday so i was also busy but i'm trying my best i'll not give them all in one day i gave the other one i did not video that's why i'm videoing these two and then now also video the remaining one at home one is remaining one or two but the remaining at home so fingers crossed if we find them at the pitch well and good if we don't find them then i'll do it tomorrow once they come back from school This time for Africa. It's a rainy season in my village. See, water everywhere. It's stuck. It's like YouTube. It's stuck and it's like, and then there are mosquitoes everywhere because of the rain. So let's go. There, let's go. So I've seen some kids playing here. These are not the ones that were in my mind, but let's go there. And then we shall go to the other ones. Okay, this is the one that I've been playing with. Why a bongo, my bongo? Don't we get a shell? Come at the shell. This is what they were playing with and this is also another they are another goal to be used to. This is another goal. So that's what they have been using. Ah don't we talk about gamma and let me give them back this one. Don't <laughs> Guys, it's getting dark, but hopefully we get there before before it darkens up. But that's the view of my village, as you can see. Those are the houses. Someone told me, "Oh, I cannot stay in such a house, girl. You're dense." <laughs> Some lady, 
commented on my video and she was like actually she's even a ugandan but she's from a central part of uganda she was saying that that those people from northern uganda date them at your own risk no development girl there is development but it's also called diversity like uganda has different people with their different culture and way of life so here however much you're rich you will still need a hut like that small grass sashed house because it's very hot here it's very hot in Pakwash guys so actually northern Uganda so we need those houses whether you like let me show you guys this people's home it's a beautiful home but they still have a grass sashed house I'm going to show you once I get where, where I'm going beautiful very beautiful home but with a grass sash because of that reason that i've told you so anyway we are here where the kids are let me video them it's already you see the sun has set yeah. So yeah, this was always play from here. So I've given them the ball, I've given the cup and cut so guys i'm telling them to organize their team they write the names of all the team members so that next time if we have someone donating jerseys for them or oh, shoes then we have a nice junior team guys as i told you people have beautiful houses here in the village but it's not useful because you're not going to sleep in it. Look at this house there. Right Look at that house. It's beautiful, but it's just cracking. And the owners end up sleeping in that, in that grass sashed house. So it's always as useful as you know to have a big house here in the village. Useless. <laughs> but anyway, we all have those houses, the big ones, but we prefer the small ones. So. If you come in the comment section and you attack me because you attack me, don't you? you attack me because of our way of living. I just feel sorry for you because I'm comfortably living like this. Comfortably living like this in that grass such house. My great 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 grandparents lived in such a home in those houses and um, we are also living in it. My parents lived in it and they never died. Yeah, we would all want to live in those fancy, fancy houses, but with the climate here in Papuash, it doesn't favor it. You can build it as well, but it won't help you. Yeah, but anyway, we still build them as you can see, right? You can see. And I think for those people who have stayed on my, on my channel for so long, I've showed you my home. Like, in one of the live streams that I showed you my entire home, you saw my uncle's house is as big as that. But we don't sleep in it, we sleep outside most times. Um, I've been taking medicine for typhoid, guys. I have typhoid and I feel like I still have, I have even malaria. But um, I'll let you guys know. Secondly, today is a Sunday and most Sundays I'm busy because my classes are Saturday and Sunday. So if you see me not posting a video, please pardon me because I have a tight shedding. Very tight, yeah? Yeah, so it's already dark, but let's go. Uh-huh. Give me the video. Hello. That 
was it for our video and i hope you have enjoyed it guys see you tomorrow in the next video tara peace and